So here we have the Mercedes-Benz C300 on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though you can see it's a five-door estate vehicle with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and work our way around the rest of the car from there. The tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can do that from the key or from the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well and you can fold down the three remaining seats there should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside but now that we've done a full circle of it you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view there's plenty to run through on the dashboard so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the speedometer. On the right-hand side, the rev counter. In the center, you can see the total miles of the car. They are 60,713. You can change the information display there using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer and car information, including a digital readout for the speedometer. And above that section, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, so we are in park at the moment. If we back out to the steering wheel, uh, we've got the buttons on the left hand side that I was using just a second ago and on the right hand side the stereo controls Just behind the steering wheel the minus and plus pedal so that you can change up and down a gear manually with this automatic gearbox And then in the center we have the main screen for the car which as you can see includes satellite navigation The movement that you see me make, uh, making on the screen now is being done using this dial just here You can use this this works as uh, a button so you can push that down. You can also go back a page as well. You can similarly push that dial down should you wish to. And you have buttons just here as well. So plenty of ways uh, to access the various different menus within this car. Uh, like for example, your telephone menu. So you can pair your phone media so you can listen to your own music uh, within the car. And also your radio menu as well, of course, where you can save various presets for your FM and DAB radio. Uh, this car also has a full color reversing camera, as you can see. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the passenger temperature down and up, and the same for the driver. You can increase and decrease the fan speed from there. Your air conditioning is on at the minute. That's off, back on again. Or hit auto. The car will now take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air, as you can hear it doing, to maintain the temperatures you've asked for. You can override that whenever you wish to. As you can see, this car also has these double uh, sunroofs. The front one will tilt open, and then you have the sun blind that you can close over, uh, should you wish to do that as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.